Hello. Oh, here we go again. Let me put on my glasses. As you know, I cannot hear myself unless I have my glasses on. Belinda, what's the temperature? Oh, let me see. Yeah, temperature, you know. Uh, Monica, what's the temperature? You have a temperature read out there in front of you? No, I don't. You don't? No. Well, it's 68 here. Oh, you just love to roll, rub it in. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah, both of those. What is it, Belinda? 39. Oh, how lovely. Monica, would you be retiring? This is Monica Pearson, everybody, a.k.a. or F.K.A. Uh, Monica Kaufman. Would you be retiring if you could do it the way I'm doing it? You know I would not be. <laughs> I mean, I'm down here overlooking the Gulf of Mexico and the sailboats are already out there and the fishermen. That's on one side. And out the other window, I can see Nick Tregoni playing golf. Please tell Nick I said hello and I miss hitting balls with him, too. Yeah, what a, you know, he's he's a guy gets on the tee and he hits the ball and he says, not bad for a sawed off Greek. <laughs> That's what I love about you, the well, master yeah. of the painful truth. Well, no, but that's 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 what he says. <laughs> and I, I'm telling you, I see him working out all the time, and he looks better now than he did the day he retired. And that's why you're on the air with me, because I read in the AJC yesterday, and on, you see, I, I get Channel 2 down here. It's, it's amazing. It's all coming to me on a huge T1 line, uh, that you're... Uh, you're Cashing in your chips in July. That's right. July 25th is my last day, and Jovita Moore will be doing the 4, 5, 6, and 11. You beat me out of there. Yeah, sure did. Yeah, but you didn't beat Chuck Dowdle out of there, and you didn't beat John, John Pruitt. Pruitt. Out of there. <laughs> I think that's part of the reason I knew it was time to go. My buddies are gone, and so now Glenn is the mature one on the set. Okay, I got to ask you. Is yeah. It, what is happening on the third floor that is causing this mass exodus. We now have so much talent. We're talent rich. We all can afford to leave. <laughs> it's God, as simple a, as that. What a great answer. It's what, the truth. Why, you know, I was thinking, you know, maybe the coffee service has gone to hell or <laughs> there was something in the water. No, or, we got a lot of great people working up there. And I'd say our staff is as good as it was when I came here 37 years ago. So that's the reason we can go. I mean, you wouldn't leave for any other reason unless I could do the news the way you're doing your show in Naples. You wouldn't want to see me right now. I don't know now. Donna looks at you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know, but not until about noon. <laughs> When I when I get back, but at any oh, by the way, did you beat Mary Hillbach out of there too? Yes, you did. Is no, she's, Mary no. Hillbach no longer works for us. She retired several oh, okay. years ago. Yeah, okay. gosh, about the only person left who was here when I came that I can think of right off the top of my head is Jocelyn Dorsey. Really? Yeah, Jocelyn her. was the noon anchor when I came, and what was so fascinating about her is when they hired me um, to integrate the set, literally being the first woman and the first black to do the 6 o'clock news in Atlanta, Jocelyn was working for the station, and she was the most generous, kind person when she could have had an attitude and not been helpful at all. Um, I've always loved her for that. It's amazing. Yeah, you waltzed in there, and it didn't take too long before you owned the city of Atlanta. Well, Neil, it's only because I learned a lesson from my mama that since I didn't know anybody here, I had to make friends easily. So if anybody would ask me to speak when I first got here, I was there, whether it was in Noonan or Macon or in the city of Atlanta. Yeah. You said and that, it's that's, paid your, well. that's your talent. We've known you, each other for a while. I don't make friends all that easily, do I? You're shy. That was the most amazing <laughs> thing for me to learn about you. In social situations, you tend to stand back. And then you have this personality on the radio that's bigger than life. But in person, you really are, let me sit in the back of the corner and kind of observe, but don't bother me. Don't. <laughs> Don't, don't haven't you found that to be true of so many people in broadcasting? Yes, yes. It's almost like you're two people. Yeah, I mean, and maybe that's the reason some of us get into broadcasting is because it's a way we can socially interact. Because it, it is, it, on a one-on-one -on -one basis, it is so tough with me. I know, 
and I and I found it very hard to believe because you are so engaging, entertaining, and sometimes a real curmudgeon on your show, which is what you're supposed oh, I, to be. I, I love that. Yeah. I love being. No, what are you? What are you going to do? Okay, July. What what day in July is your last day? July the twenty fifth. Okay, and then what? Um. Well, I have to stay around here for an event on July 29th, and then John and I are going to take a vacation, just do nothing until... Wait a I... minute. Is there something going on between you and Pruitt we don't know about? <laughs> there are two Johns in my life, oh, John I'm sorry. Pruitt and John Pearson. I am so sorry. <laughs> my husband of seven years. <laughs> oh, that little Peyton place up there on the third floor. <laughs> that is too cute. <laughs> Okay, so you, you and John, always stir in the pot. <laughs> you and John are going where? Well, we haven't decided yet, but we want to take a good long, I think, probably cruise. Now's a good time to buy a good ticket. Hey, I got a, I've got a cruise that I'm putting together for uh, next uh, January. January. Well, Neil, I'm waiting to hear about grad school. Uh, oh, okay. I won't know until the 1st of April whether I got into Georgia or Columbia University. And if I get into one uh, of them, I will either be in New York for nine months going to school or I'll be in Athens for two years going to school. Why? I want to teach. And um, although people know me now, 10 years from now, to be like, who are you? And you need a master's to be to teach on the college level. And I want to share so much of that I learned here at Channel to with yeah. young people. Well, I'm going to Antarctica. There's a cruise for you. <gasps> oh, that's cool. But you know, I'm black. I don't like cold weather. Well, I, I'm white, and that's just about as white as you can get down there. I know. <laughs> so why am I going to go freeze my hiney off, <laughs> even with you? The ship's heated. That doesn't mean anything. You got to go okay. out on the deck sometime. Okay, here's another idea. <laughs> one of those one of those river cruises, the Danube, the Rhine, the Main, over in Europe. Well, I've been all over Germany and been on the Rhine, so... I don't think so. Okay. I... You got to do better now. Okay, how about let's go down the Colorado through the Grand Canyon. Now that I would like. That is. I've, I've done that six times. And That's... I've never done that, and I, I would love uh, to do that. Well, and okay. see, for my website that I'm going to do, a toe in the water, that would be an absolutely great thing to do. A toe in the water. Okay, tell us about that. Well, you know, you just said it. That's someplace I had not been, and I'm sure there are people listening right now who'd say, ooh, it sounds cool, but I don't want to spend my money on that, not knowing whether or not it's going to be fun. So I'm going to stick, quote, my toe in the water and test it for my readers and tell them whether or not it was fun and and why it was fun, and tell them whether or not to jump in, or maybe this is something you Ooh, ought to avoid. I love that. When's the website up? August 1st. August 1st? Yeah, it's just simply called A Toe in the Water. Well, I'll be around, so you make sure I get that website so we can put it on boards.com, and and, uh, and and don't forget to get the Twitter handle for that, too, as quick as you can. Oh, thank you. I will do that. Yeah, you ought to do that uh, pretty quick. Get, I will do it, because I've already got the domain name and all of that and, and putting it together, and we just put up a coming soon thing where I explain the concept for um, A Toe in the Water. Okay, a visit to Naples should be on your list, too. I'd love that, particularly if you're going to take me out to dinner. You ever been down here? Yes, because I actually visited uh, Chris Curl, who sent me the sweetest note yesterday, and Don Farmer years ago, uh, we came down to Marco. Yeah, I had dinner with them about 10 days ago. Oh, good people. And then I was in, I, we stayed in Naples, and I loved it. Yeah. Beautiful area. You you know you know how to do what you do. It was I'm all proud of, of it, you. It it was because uh, it, you were, were running late and everything's going cattywampus here. But I got to tell you that uh, we came down to visit Chris and Don like you did. Donna liked it so much. She said, "You go back, do the show in Atlanta, and then come back down here on next next weekend, and then I'll go home with you." <laughs> I said, "No, Monica." On Tuesday, she called me in Atlanta. She said, "Hey, I bought a house." She bought a house. <laughs> so. That's that's how it happened with the, hey, I bought a house. Okay, fine, sweetheart. You can do anything you want. That's so, my girl. She knows you know, how to spend your money. She does, and hers. Okay, Monica, listen, congratulations on 37 wonderful, incredible years. I will be back at Digital White Columns uh, uh, in in the near future, and, uh, and I'll come up and say hi. Please, I want to hug your neck, Neil. Okay, hon. See you, darling. You be good. You and, too. Uh, here's somebody else that is way, way past retirement age. Uh, it's Cap Merv. 846 News Talk WSB. Wish you well, Monica. It's still...